So you remember how last year I said, oh wow, that winter was so long, I can't wait to go canoeing. Well, this year the winter was even longer and I still can't wait to go canoeing. Uh, me and Shane are heading into Cache Lake for just one night because that's all we could really get. But I am excited to be outside and not have to bundle up. We're supposed to have some relatively warm weather this weekend. There's supposed to be humidity that it's going to be good. We can fish without drilling holes through the lake and children will laugh and dance and we will have a good time. Oh, after that winter, I'm just so ready to go canoeing! Ah! Lake done. Next lake, we got a nice little portage in front of us. Shouldn't be too bad. We got even stairs. It's really nice being back in the park. I'm excited. Uh, everything was a bit windy today. Let's say winds blowing 15, 20 kilometers an hour, and we only got lost once. Went to another lake. Doesn't matter. We're here now. Shane, stop Hi, looking. Ian. No, it's not my fault. Okay, it is my fault. I don't care. The guys said to go a different way and we ignored them. Anyways, uh, 1600 meter portage. Good little portage here. Everything's sort of not full of life, but should be fine. Well, I'll be fine. Break number one. This is number two or three. Number two, three. Decent canoe stand. Nice little spot. But we still have an incredibly long way to go. Yeah, it's not that bad. That away. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Head Lake. Nice little landing spot. Not too bad. Done. We are done. Didn't take as long as we thought it would, which is good. Uh, took two full breaks, although once again, I took a break about 100 meters from the end of the uh, portage. I do that a lot. Oh no, no, put her down, because I'm lazy. Anyways, two full stops, two or three other little stops to readjust the portage pad. I don't know, I would say it took us about half hour or so. Not bad for our first portage of the year. Pretty proud of it and it's gonna make every other portage for the next month or so seem easy. Those 200s on Sunday? Don't stand a chance. No. I'm not even, gonna get a, get a, not even gonna get out of the canoe. That was a portage? Just, just portage right through it. Paddle right through it on land, over land. Yeah. Pretty much didn't even happen. It's the plan. Anyways, I think we're going over that a ways, some ways, and over here's where there's a footpath, and and we got to get our lines wet too. We haven't thrown a lure in. I'm gonna catch the biggest brook trout on the man. I'm gonna catch the biggest shark, a shark trout. There's at least a couple in here for sure. Yeah, maybe a couple of cycle bikes. Oh, I don't know eh, if there's brook in here. There's not gonna be cycle bikes. It's true. They usually don't get along well. Yeah, luckily we got you know. That's why I chose this lake. Cycle Pike free. Ah, that's a good call. Yeah. All right, let's get moving. We made it. Uh, so you can probably hear it's a bit windy. Uh, not much I can do about that. It's kind of stressing me out. It wasn't Georgian Bay, but it was pretty rough. You know, one foot swells, water was coming over the edge. But as you can probably hear, we are on site and there is an amazing waterfall right adjacent on suite. Uh, Perfect little site. Um, the fire pit's nice, clean. It's a bit of garbage around, but that's to be expected, I suppose. Uh, not too much in the way of firewood, but enough. And we got the whole afternoon to set up shop. So we'll get to that, I suppose. Um, yeah, hard parts of the, of the day is done.
So we're trying our luck over uh, closer to the falls. That's our site over there. The lake's really angry, but again, you can't really see it. It's white caps and stuff. But this falls is cool. I've already got a hit. Oh! Nothing? No, that's solid this time. I think it's sticks over. I don't know, you got good movement on it. I think it's full of sticks out there. So the wind's still breezy, which is preventing us from fishing. But we're doing other stuff, you know, collecting firewood for later tonight and the like. One of the uh, things we've been doing is drinking juice. Um, so I figured I'll show you one of my new toys. This is the 2 liter platypus water filtration system. Put dirty water up there from the lake. It's really easy to get to. You just scoop up a big bag of water. Gravity filters it through this, which is very similar to the one you get on the, uh, what are they called? The MSR Expedition ones or something like that. And then it goes down into the clean bag. Uh, reason I like this water filter a, it requires next to no work and it's really fast to do two liters. You can see it's almost done now and I just uh, hooked that up less than a minute ago. But uh, it's really versatile. I mean, you can clip it off if you want to and that gives it sort of water on demand. Uh, allows you to hold four liters of water, two in the clean bag, two in the dirty bag. and. Uh, very easily back flush it by tilting that bag higher up in that bag. It forces water along the hose backwards through there into the dirty bag and you just get rid of that. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Also, check this out. We found dirty socks and dirty underwear and over there there's a old pair of hip waders. So we're gonna have to get that out of here because we're better than the last people that came here, and we're not going to leave. Go us! There you go, sir. but it is still definitely there. So we've had breakfast. We're just getting cleaned up. Gonna hit the water as soon as we can. Not in a rush because the sun is out and it is a nice looking day. But we've had enough to do with wind recently to last us for a few days at least. So we're gonna head out across Head Lake up the creek See if we can't catch some fish along the way, maybe. And, uh, and head out. Back to the big smoke, unfortunately. But, what can you do, right? So, 
why, where's the footage, where's the witty comments, we, we went the wrong way, that's what we did, uh, um, I can't suggest doing that to anybody, oh man, the wind was out of the west, and we went north, east, and then west, and then up, and following that creek from Cache to Lake of Two Rivers, I think it is. We thought it would be, you know, no problem. High water levels will help us get through the marsh, but I've never gone against current and wind in conjunction with another like that before. And that was just a tough slog. Really tough. Every like both me and Shane were both feeling absolutely drained by the end of it, you know. You get to the dock, you throw all your gear indiscriminately into the car, just leave. That being said, it was a really nice day. It was beautiful and sunburned. Put on sunscreen earlier, but apparently it wasn't enough. And, uh, yeah, it was really nice. It was, there's I, no better way to spend the first warm day in May than canoeing through Algonquin Park with your buddy. And uh, I can fully appreciate that, but I'm really tired, as you can see, and uh, I just want to go home and go to bed. I don't know when my next trip will be. I've got one booked later, but uh, until then, you stay classy.